Williams Comet MPU board uh, reported to have no sound. I did boot it up and it had sound. Um, I did change out one of the sockets over here on the sound truck. Changed out U4 just to make sure. Sometimes these boards had really crappy sockets. Those sockets there are just fine. I uh, socketed and installed NVRAM. Cleaned up some light alkaline corrosion up here at the top and uh, replaced the power in and one of the display uh, headers here also. And then these three 100 microfarad electrolytic caps are replaced also. So let's boot it up. And that booted up just perfectly. You can see the lamp matrix is active. And the only solenoid that's on right now is the coin lockout solenoid. So let's put it in test. Display test. This little display tester was made by Siegecraft many years ago now. So you can see those are working properly. The next test is the sound test. So all those sounds are there. There is no sound. There is no sound at sound zero is what I was trying to say. And you can see that the lamp matrix, and this is made by Siegecraft also. I made my own, but I really like these ones that Hans put together. Solenoid test underway, five, six. This is the 16 right there. And then it goes back and restarts since system nine didn't have circuitry to control the special solenoids, but I'm gonna rake uh, a ground wire across here, just like that. And we shall see the special solenoids fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all your special solenoid inputs. And the next test is switch test, I believe. So I'm going to use my other tester. This one comes to you from Pinitech. And walk through all of column one. And here's row one. And Williams games of this era only fired, uh, or they, they would only report switches that were actually in the game. So switch 50 is the last switch on Comet. And the next test is, there is no next test. It's running through the audits. And the game will reboot. And we're back in business once again. Ready to go. Pretty clean System 9 board here. I don't see those that often, and I thank you so much for sending it.